First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for creating time to join us for the strategic document that will guide us for the next uh, five years. We are still waiting for more participants to join. So far, we have the quorum. We have around 26 participants who have joined us, and we are hoping that more of our partners and peers will join us. I would like to start by covering the technical aspects. One is, uh, please note that the online event is being recorded and streamlined on Caritas Marsavit Facebook page, Radio Jangwani Facebook page, and Radio Jangwani FM 106.3. We invite you to mute your microphones unless you are making an intervention. If you are making an intervention, please raise up your hand. Our technical host will also check for any background noise and assist us to mute microphones to we note any background noise coming from your end. We also invite you to use the chat box for any feedback, clarifications, suggestions, or compliments. My name is Godfrey Godana. I'm the Deputy Director and Head of Programs, Caritas Marsabit, and I'll be your moder moderator for this event. The event will run for two hours maximum. Let me start by recognizing the presence of the following. First, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, Right Reverend Peter Kihara. Thank you, Your Lordship, for gracing us with your presence. I would also like to recognize the presence of the Governor of Marsabit County, His Excellency Mahmoud Mohamed Ali. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your continued support to the mission of the church in Marsabit. We also have with us the other representatives of the county and national governments, the county secretary, the county executive committees, and other members of the government. We are also honored to have with us Right Reverend Joseph Obanyi Sagwe, the Bishop President of Caritas, Kenya. Thank you very much, Your, Excel Your Lordship, and we count on your support at the national and regional level. I also want to recognize the presence of the Vicar General of the Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, very Reverend Father Ibrahim Racho, and the Director of Caritas Marsabit, Mr. Isako Jirma, and all Caritas Marsabit staffs. We also want to recognize the presence of our partners and peers Catholic Agency for Overseas Development, CAFOD, Catholic Relief Services, Site Service International, Caritas Italiana, Christian Aid, Miserio, Germany, Caritas, Germany, Saints of Hope, Caritas, Kenya, UNFAO, Caritas, Spain, Caritas, Austria, Miserio, Aken, Caritas Europa, Che Italy, Head of Office Nawiri Marsabit, and Nawiri staff in Marsabit. We also have our, our peers, Pasida, Concern Worldwide, Pips, Sifa. We also want to thank and recognize the presence of the directors of Caritas Kenya, Nyeri Metropolitan Executive Committee. For those of us who are following on social media and Radio Jangwani, please feel welcome and honored. Before we start, I would like to welcome the very Reverend Father Ibrahim Racho, the Vicar General Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, who is also the board chair for Caritas Marsabit, to start us off with an opening ref reflection and a word of prayer. Reverend Father, you have 10 minutes for that activity. Welcome. Governments, business people, work in partnership so that all people might have access to 
their heads. And, and they will all see be, be, be for your great and Lord. As we have this all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Over to you, Godana. Thank you very much, very Reverend Father Ibrahim Racho, for your reflection and the prayer this morning. The reflection is very relevant. We know that Jesus fed the hungry, and what the mission of Caritas is to continue with the mission that Jesus has started of helping the needy people, people who are hungry, people who are homeless, people who have no water, or those who have no good health. So thank you very much, the very Reverend Father Racho. I had already recognized the presence of almost all our partners. There are others who have joined us in a special, I want to recognize the presence of His Excellency Solomon Gubbo, the Deputy Governor in Marsabit County. Welcome, Your Excellency. We also want to recognize the presence of Rebecca Hallam, the head of CRS Kenya and Somali, Somalia program. We also want to recognize in a special way Caritas Marsabit board members. All the board members of Caritas have joined, and we really recognize and appreciate their presence. Uh, now, I have the pleasure to invite Right Reverend Peter Kihara, the Bishop, Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, to make his opening remarks. Thank you, Your Lordship. You have 10 minutes. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Godana, giving me a chance, me a chance to present the introductory presentation of this of this launch that we are doing today. And the partners near and far for being with us all through through the mission that we have and we thank them for their sacrifice of time so that we can be able to communicate well. First of all, I want to thank God for bringing us this far as a diocese, Catholic Diocese of Massabit, which encompasses the Caritas Massabit and other pastoral departments of this diocese which continue to respond to the needs of the people in the county, which as, is as vast and equal to the Diocese of Massabit. Since the inception of this diocese in 1964, the diocese and its personnel has done a lot for the people of this county. And we thank God for his blessings as well as for the support given by many, many uh, friends and partners near and far to continue this mission that was started by Jesus as it was presented for us that he even fed the hungry with the bread, but even wanted them more. He formed them to be able to do better. I want to mention that uh, the, the Caritas Massabit is one arm of the two departments of the same diocese, Catholic diocese. And while Caritas takes care of the needs of the people and responding to the challenges that uh, encompass us in this area, there is the pastoral department that is taken care of by the clergy and the religious while all make one a generous response to the needs of the people and the communities in this diocese and the county. Let me begin that from its inception, my predecessor bishops also saw that this area needs a lot of help for the communities to be able 
to survive and even overcome the challenges they encounter. Since this area has no rivers, it has no natural dams, we have had the commitment of the church in search of the assistance and responding to the needs of the people, searching for ways and means to provide them with what they need. Immediate response was to supply or feed them like Jesus did in the desert, but also much more to teach them how they will be able to look for survival and uh, meet the needs themselves. Therefore, education and formation of the same people. This church then found that it could not be able to carry out the apostle this work alone and divided these departments into one that was taking care of the spiritual aspect of the people, while the other one was called development office or department, which now we call Caritas. Hence, Caritas Masabit is the development arm of our Catholic Diocese of Masabit to the communities that are we living within its vast area of 78,000 square kilometers. Indeed, uh, the situation, the geographical situation of our diocese places into our hands needed people in various areas, that there are people who face droughts, which many times hit the county with, uh, hit the county unexpectedly because of the failure of uh, the rain and also the consequences when the rain comes. And so uh, Caritas was invited to be the first arm to respond to the needs of the people in a human way so that the others can continue to proclaim the word of God. Indeed, I need to quote here the retired uh, Pope Benedict who wrote a document that quoted and explained clearly saying that um, the church is called to do charity and it observes in the deepest, the deepest nature of his being by carrying out this charity in three forms. First, through proclamation of the word of God, the Bible and explanation of it, like Father Racho has done to us in the opening. And then the charity is also expressed in the celebrations of the various sacraments, which are ways and means of making people participate in life and especially bringing in the factor of God and their faith. And thirdly, in the exercising of uh, the ministry of charity and the Pope stressed there, these three aspects of service of the church are inseparable and cannot be separated. And therefore, if the church does not do these things, it seems not to meet, uh, to, to respond to his nature and the purpose of foundation. We thank him as he's reminding us also that. So even today, uh, we want to present and to launch a document that shows us what dream we have. And we are presenting for the, uh, for the future of our activities from this year to 2025 in an organized manner. So that we respond to the needs of the people and as well uh, help them through formation and, uh, and bringing them to the awareness that Jesus, yes, he fed people with the bread and fish, but we also have, we are committed to teach people to go fishing themselves and to provide themselves with the food they need daily, not to be given every day. So education and formation, that is the best approach that we have. Hence the quote they say, teach the people to do fishing 
And uh, even if you rescue them with a, okay, um, teach one to, to how to fish, but not to provide him daily. So formation, so that people can be committed to solve their own problems would be the best way. And our church since the inception has done that through education. We have put a lot of support and material resources into the formation, education, and information of the people so that they can themselves move from one step to another in eradicating the challenges they have or even overcoming them. Then number two, our diocese has also intervened in the areas of health so that people can enjoy better life. It is Jesus who said himself that he came so that people may have life and have it in full, and therefore to teach them how to live quality life, better life, in abundance, as he said, is our mission. Hence, health departments and hospitals have been erected in these areas, and they continue to serve the people. Three, uh, we have continued throughout this time, not only through education and formation, but providing even solutions for uh, temporary solutions for water during rain seasons to collect it, and also drilling boreholes, digging dams for the, for the people as well as their livestock, which is the source of their livelihood. And all these go together into showing the love of God to the people he loves, and we become only instruments. We thank our previous bishops for starting this. And since the mission is far from being uh, concluded or met, we are happy that we continue with this. We want to thank the partners who have given us the support so that we are able to uh, meet these needs. I'm happy now to mention that uh, we are launching a document that has, be, has been compiled from evaluations of the previous one from 2016 to 2020. And through evaluations uh, where we found the shortfalls, where we found the achievements, where we found there were uh, areas that needed our attention, that we will be able to, to plan our activities. Indeed, even the prophet said in the, in the Bible, Proverbs 16, verse 3, that commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Commit to the Lord, because he's the one who wants us and our people to live better life, and he will uh, establish your plans. So those plans, we have put them here in this document, which will guide our Caritas Masabit for the next five years in order to be able to respond to the needs of the people. And we thank that uh, it has been a, a, an effort, consulted effort of the team of Caritas members themselves as they evaluated themselves. We, they have also consulted others who have added value to them the brother and sister organizations, government departments, and other departments of the church near and far. So it is a, consult, a result of a concerted effort in what was done in the last five years, but also improved with the needs of the day that will be uh, responded to. So we thank God and we feel that we are, continue, we are called to continue doing this. This plan uh, is an opportunity to understand that we are a moving church and we move with the community with the needs that the people have. Many of them have been done, but not yet because we have no lasting solutions and we want the people to participate themselves in eradicating the challenges they have if possible. So Caritas Masabit activities will be guided by this document and the plan that you will see them do uh, as they have planned. The team players, the team players of, um, of this um, document that we have complied are the Caritas team, 
plus our departmental heads and other members who are the ones who reach out to the people to express this charity, this service of love of God, of love of the church, our dedication in person to the rest of the people. And we want to thank them for their availability, their dedication, and also their readiness to continue for the next five years. We also want to thank our partners near and far, especially those who support us when we are uh, limited in resources so that we can be able to carry out these activities. Among them, uh, CAFOD is there, CRS is there, Miserio is there. As it was introduced, we are a big team in our Catholic Church, which is universal, that help one another in order to support the needy people. Indeed, to express our, the nature of the church that it is charity. It is love put into practice in order to help the most needy and they respond to their needs. We are glad and we thank God for them and we continue to pray that God blesses all of us. Even us, as we are going on as a diocese, we are about to, con to, con uh, to, to conclude our strategic plan in, a, in, in two months, and it will be in the hands of the people that Caritas Masabit is serving so that they too can generate their resources and the respond to uh, the, the needs that they, they hear. We encourage that the formation, we encourage them that the information given to them may form them in mind and heart to produce, to respond, and not always to expect to be supported, like education does. A teacher educates a student or a pupil, and the pupil grows up in the knowledge of how to respond to his or her needs, and therefore is a sharing, is enlightenment, is formation and information, so that to be able to live and do what is necessary. So we thank God and we want to thank all those who have been there with us so that we continue to do this noble mission and it will bring us to the success of the mission. I want now to, I want now to see whether my brother Bishop uh, is online so that he can also uh, say something later. But first, I want to thank you, Godana, for giving me time. I think I leave it to you, hand over so that our Caritas Director will take us through with the whole more concrete aspects of what is contained in this document that we are launching today. Thank you very much. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Lordship. Right Reverend Peter Kihara, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, for the leadership that you have been providing to Caritas and the entire diocese, and also for your words of wisdom as we launch this five-year strategic plan. Now, it's my humble responsibility to invite the Director of Caritas Marsabit to share with us the brief from the previous strategic plan lessons learned and experiences, and the summary of the new strategic plan. Isako, welcome, you have 25 minutes. Okay, thank you so much, Godana. Um, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this uh, event. 
Thank you also for gracing the occasion with your presence. And now it is my humble um, honor to present to you the Caritas Marsabit 2021 2025 strategic plan document. My name is Isako Jirma. I am the director for Caritas Marsabit. Uh, my presentation will be basically uh, to let you know that, like Bishop has said and everybody else, that this is a consultation with all the stakeholders that we partner with, which includes the community that we serve, the Caritas Board, our peer organizations that work for the same community, the Caritas Fraternity, and uh, all those who are concerned with the humanitarian and development work of the community of Marsabit. I will organize my presentation by first looking at the context of the diocese, which geographically is the same as the county, highlights of the achievements and challenges of the uh, strategic plan that is just coming to end, and our strategic priorities in the next five years and innovations and lessons learned over the period. Uh, for the benefit of those people who have not been to Marsabit, particularly partners who are outside Kenya, I want to briefly talk about, in complement or as a rejoinder to what Bishop has already described, the context in which we are working. The Catholic Diocese of Marsabit of Mar or Marsabit County has a geographical area of about 70,000 square kilometers, quite expansive. And it has a population of 460,000, approximately 460,000 people. Uh, Marsabit is classified as 100% arid and semi-arid lands. The adjacent photo there shows you part of how Marsabit looks like. Uh, most of the county constitutes an expansive plain line between 300 meter and 900 meter above sea level and it experiences arid climatic conditions of high temperatures, low and erratic rainfalls, and surprisingly sometimes getting floods when we have weather extreme situations. Apart from a few areas like uh, Uri Hills, Mount Marsabit, Mount Kulal and Moyale, and Sololo escarpments where it's a bit higher, the rest generally have arid climatic conditions. Water scarcity is a challenge. 50% of the rural population and 60% of the urban population depends on water from shallow wells, boreholes, and water pans. And to be more specific, um, the demand for water in the county is approximately 6,750,000 liters per day, while the daily production is about 4 million liters per day. So that leaves us with a gap of almost 2,700,000 liters of water. That tells you how the situation is great. The shocks of the county is mainly around drought, floods, insect infestation, and more pronounced in the latest uh, years, ethnic conflict that is claiming lives in numbers. So because of this climatic condition, pastoralism is the only viable livelihood system that communities are left with, and therefore almost 81% of the population of Marsabit practice pure pastoralism. On the education side, 70.4% of the population have attained primary education against a population of almost 9% with secondary education. Uh, the illiteracy level is almost 76%. So we have a community that is trying to eke life out of this hardship and uh, they are equipped with the literacy of that low level. 
Therefore, because of these conditions, there's a lot of rampant poverty. 84% of the population are classified as food insecure. Environmental degradation in the county is mainly as a result of deforestation and forest encroachment to dependence on firewood and overgrazing. On the health sector, there are documents that shows you this. The doctor patient ratio in the county stands at one doctor to 63,000 people against the UN recommended one doctor to 1,000 people. That tells you how healthcare situation in Marsabit is. I'm not out to paint a bleak picture of Marsabit, but just to tell you the reality, but something is done about this. The county government, the national government, the civil society actors like ourselves and the rest are really working hard time to ensure that the giant of the challenge of livelihoods in Marsabit is moved away so that people get good life. Therefore, that tells you why Caritas Marsabit exists. Why are we there? Who, what are we doing? Who are we in the face of this enormous challenge? Bishop has already elaborated explained who we are. We are a Catholic diocese of Marsabit. We are the left hand of the church and our work is basically human promotion. We have a vision and our vision is to empower the people to know God and live in dignity and harmony. Our mission is a people holistically empowered in line with gospel values. For those of us who are not Christians, gospel values are basically life of dignity. Holistic life, you have water, you have food on the table, you have respect, you have peace, and you have conducive environment in which you live. So that is our mission. Therefore, to deal with this challenge, over the last five years, I will now present to you what experiences that we have gotten. And we basically organized our work according to the major or prominent needs that have featured in Marsabit over the years. What did Caritas Marsabit achieve in the last five years? Um, under water and sanitation and hygiene program, we sought to provide communities with better quality of life through improving sanitation and hygiene practices. Uh, on, on sanitation and hygiene, we use the CLTS model. And we are happy to announce that we have declared four villages ODF in Marsabit. For those people, those organizations that have worked on this model of CLTS and tried it in pastoral setup, you know this is a no mean feat. It is a challenge to declare one village in the pastoral setup an ODF. But by God's grace and support of the partners and the government, we are happy today to announce that. We have done several boreholes several mansory tanks, ad pans, underground tanks. We rehabilitated many boreholes, especially during emergencies, shallow wells, and also have done a lot of water harvesting structures, particularly in schools, which enabled almost 9,000 students benefit from rainwater harvesting systems and facilitated harmonious learning in schools. Examples of some of these programs are schemes that we developed in Bori, uh, Malabot. Bori is in Moyale sub-county, Malabot in Northwood sub-county and Barambate, and La Cartinia just near Bahia in Saku sub-county, and also the Bell Water Project that serves about 12,000 people. Project sustainability, depends on community uh, ownership of the project. And therefore, uh, 
when we do these structures for the communities, we allow them to get the ownership through building their skills and also setting up management structures to support. Justice and peace program, you remember those of us who are living in Marsabit, what we have gone through in the last three years. Conflict has been order of the day. When peace evades a community, development stalls. We have employed different mechanisms uh, to ensure that communities coexist. And some of these mechanisms are hard as peace comes, children's peace comes, peace races, um, leaders' peace meetings, both at the local and the national level. On the governance aspects also, we tried to bring the duty bearers, that is the government and the communities closer so that the development of these communities are planned better. One example I can give is in Sagante Jaldes Award, for example, through facilitation of accountability forums and public participation forums, the communities identified water as the main challenge and the resources that were allocated for this world for a particular year was almost entirely out of 403 euros, 403,000 euros allocated for that world, 354,838 euros was allocated to water so that in that particular year, the issue of water is resolved. So what are we trying to do? Devolution is an opportunity that has come, but we find that there is a missing link on community's level of understanding uh, in terms of engaging the government and setting their priorities well. We have come up with a, a magazine called Uwe Macho Magazine, which we were greatly supported by the government to table the government plans and budget of a particular year. And then at the elapse of the year, the communities and the stakeholders can share and look at the performance of uh, the implementation of these plans and budget. Uh, under sustainable and livelihoods, uh, sustainable livelihoods department, we struggled with trying to create diversified or alternative source of livelihoods for the pure pastoralist communities that when hazards like conflict, uh, hazards like conflicts or even drought strikes and their livelihood systems is brought down to zero, what other alternatives do they turn to? So we train pastoralist commun communities, particularly women, uh, on some life skills, business skills to, to come up with saving and lending uh, uh, schemes and also shed nets to grow some crops around their compounds such that when the livestock die in the drought, they are not devastated, but they have other options. We supported about 20 women groups that have now a robust merry-go-round uh, schemes that they lend and borrow from each other. Uh, under disaster management, we have responded to droughts, we have responded to conflicts, uh, we have responded to floods and uh, many other shocks. And the approach basically is two-pronged, preparedness, and in terms of anticipating what, has, what shocks can come in a, a future, and responding in, in, in order to save lives and livelihoods of people. Uh, under health and nutrition, Caritas Marsabit supports both preventive and curative healthcare, creating community awareness on disease prevention measures, and supporting construction and equipping of health facilities, particularly uh, to promote uh, maternal healthcare. We also have had interventions around trachoma elimination. Over the last five years, through support of uh, one of our partners, which I'll mention later, we are now almost eradicating trachoma in Marsabit. We are at 98%. Uh, efforts to address malnutrition, I'm happy to announce that beginning last year, we are in a big program called Nawiri that is led by CRS, supported by USAID, to see to it that uh, there is broad participation of partners in, led by the government to ensure that malnutrition cases that has been rampant in the county will come down through a joint uh, venture contribution from different partners. 
Um, as an organization, we've had institutional development and capacity strengthening programs. We have reviewed our policies. Uh, we have invested in staff capacity building to improve on delivery of programs. Um, strengthening organizational advocacy um, capacity and uh, also forging new partnerships. Just to note that in 2014, our annual budget was about 670,000 euros, but now it has gone to almost 3.3 million euros. Uh, so how did we achieve all this? We achieved this through support from the communities that we work with, the county government and the national government, and also many of our partners that are represented here today, which includes, uh, like Bishop has already mentioned, CRS, Caritas Germany, CAFOD, Caritas Italiana, Sideseva International, Sign of Hope, Caritas Kenya, uh, Conference of Catholic Bishops of Italy, Caritas Romania, uh, Caritas uh, Europa, our local partners, and uh, other stakeholders. Now, briefly, I want to mention about the overview of the 2021-2025 strategic plan. Um, I want to begin by this quote from the Austro Australian Catholic uh, Bishops Conference. Poverty is more than a simple lack of money. It is multidimensional. It concerns access to health, education, social services, human rights, freedom, life opportunities, and ultimate goal of development enterprise which is happiness. The reality is that the most disadvantaged in the world suffer deprivation in many different ways. So against this backdrop, we have organized our work such that going forward, we have a goal. And the goal is basically to, um, to reduce uh, human suffering in Marsabit by transforming the situation of the communities in a sustainable way. And therefore, we've come up with five strategic objectives. The first one is to promote peaceful coexistence, access to justice and effective, accountable and inclusive institutions in Marsabit. Ensure access to quality and affordable healthcare to save and nutritious food and to promote well-being for all ages. To achieve food and nutritional security and promote sustainable agriculture through diversified livelihoods and ecologically sound approaches, ensure equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water, uh, build communities resilience and reduce vulnerability to climate extreme events, and improve organizational and staff efficiency and use of ICT. The lessons learned uh, over the years that we want to include in our strategy are uh, uh, approaches in programming. We want to start integrated human promotion programming. That the complexities of the disasters that we have been responding to has underlying effects. And therefore, as opposed to just you know, responding to emergencies, we now have come up with a department that includes disaster management, mm -hmm. uh, uh, resource mobilization, I mean, resource, natural resource management and also climate change and adaptation. Uh, we also have thought of coming up with advocacy and leveraging of networks, particularly around justice and peace. We have concentrated so much in trying to build peace within the communities, but we need to elevate it up to the level of the county and also the national so that we engage leadership and other stakeholders at that level to ensure that we get holistic peace in the county. We want to leverage on ICT for organizational strengthening. Uh, COVID-19 has taught us that uh, we can interact with the world through ICT. Water project, much as we want to increase access to water, the resources that are established also requires management. We all know those who work in Marsabit that there is poor management of water resources in terms of accountability and transparency. We are piloting with the Dabel community now 
to start prepaid uh, meter um, schemes in uh, different communities. And going forward, after establishing these structures, we will now fully embark on management and transparency and accountability of these resources. Uh, networking and collaboration with many partners, including the government and also other non-state actors, so that we create synergy in terms of uh, trying to solve the problems of the communities of Marsabit. And finally, I want to, be, uh, to say that this document that we are presenting today is an offer of partnership uh, to join hands with the multi-stakeholders and all those partners that are interested in working in Marsabit. It is also a rallying call for those humanitarian de development partners that have not yet started working in Marsabit that there is so much to do here to assist the government both at both levels to ensure that the lives of people are transformed. It is a commitment to engage the development and funding partners that we journey together in this business. Thanks all the partners and all the stakeholders uh, for the contribution to the previous strategic plan. And I want to appeal to all and sundry to support us in making this strategic plan a reality. Thank you so much for listening to me. And we have the documents ready. We will interact. Uh, you will be able to interact with the documents, getting it from our website, and also physically visiting our office. We will avail the documents to you. Thank you so much. God bless. Over to you, Godana. Thank you very much, Isako, for the good presentation about the experiences of the previous strategic plan and also the highlights of the new strategic document. Thank you very much. Now I'll invite Bishop Peter Kihara to continue with the next part of the program. Welcome, Your Lordship. Thank you, Mr. Godana. And thank you, Isako, for the brief of the past and the current strategic plan we are launching today. Uh, without wasting a lot more time, I want now to welcome the next uh, speaker, my brother, Bishop uh, Joseph Obanyi, Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Kakamega, and Apostolic Administrator of Bungoma. Um, I hope he can hear me and we will give him 10, 12 minutes so that we can continue with the program as done. Welcome my brother Bishop. I hope he is in line. He was earlier there, but it's like now he's no longer online. Okay. Oh, Dana can give us direction. Uh, I can I can see a message from the bishop in the chat box that uh, is meeting the seminarians and will join us shortly. So probably we can proceed with the program and he can join us. We'll see whether he will join us later. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. I think as we wait for the for the bishop, the governor is uh, is joining. The governor is online. Yes, I am online. Yes, Bishop, please welcome the governor. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Godana. Your Excellency, Mohammed Mohamud, the governor of Masabit, we want to welcome you into this uh, 
celebration of the launch of our strategic plan <clears throat> for the Catholic Diocese, uh, for the Caritas Masabit, so that you can also express how much close and uh, collaboration we have been doing this for the well being of the communities and uh, the county of Masabit. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Bishop. Um, right Reverend uh, Pete Takihara, Bishop uh, Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, Bishop Joseph Obanyi, Father Racho Vika, General, Board Members Caritas, Marsabit, Partners, County and National Government Representatives, Caritas Family, Organizations Representatives, Caritas Marsabit staff, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. <clears throat> I am happy to join the team in launching this five-year strategic plan for Caritas Marsabit. Caritas Marsabit is one of the most active local organizations in the county. Prior to the devolved governance, it was the key stakeholder offering basic social services, such as education, health, governance. And uh, it was the key stake, uh, uh, and water, sorry. In fact, the first generation of the county elites attended the missionary schools, which had a link uh, and or support with Caritas. They have been providing 60% of health services in the county. They still remain a key stakeholder in this sector. For the past four years, their collaboration and active involvement with the government has been outstanding. They gladly share information on their projects to the county steering group. And in most cases, they jointly identify the target locations with the relevant technical working groups. This openness and transparency has earned them trust, even by the communities, making them very acceptable in both humanitarian and development initiatives. I commend you for this and urge you to keep the spirit. I must also admit that this is one organization that prioritizes relevant and impactful projects across the county. They have worked with us the journey of peace building in the county. Specifically, they initiated the Interfaith Council, which has proven a reliable and effective peace building organ in the county. This alongside your elaborate but diplomatic advocacy efforts greatly contributes to good governance in this county. In addition, uh, Caritas Marsabit efforts in addressing water access and quality uh, challenges is also commendable. Today, every sub county has at least one permanent source of water, courtesy of Caritas Marsabit. I congratulate you for this. Under this new strategic period, I commit to support your vision, having perused through the plan. I am pleased that it is well aligned with the County Integrated Development Plan, CIDP, as well as various departmental sector plans. This sets a good ground for meaningful cooperation and collaboration in pushing the county's development agenda. I appreciate all the partners and donors who have been behind the good work of Caritas Marsabit. I urge you to continue supporting this county as we journey through the challenging path to sustainable transformative development. I gladly confirm that you have made the right choice to work through Caritas Marsabit. They have the right leadership, resources, and the passion to serve our communities. Santeni Sana, and God bless you, uh, and God bless Caritas Marsabit. Thank you very much, Bishop. I think that is all I wanted to say for today. And I want to assure you my commitment to work with you, to support you, 
and to walk through the journey that we have always been collaborating with you, uh, especially so in searching for a stable, cohesive community in Marsabit. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And we will continue to collaborate. As you can see, we have a plan of what we, be we began until we achieve the goal. Thank you and God bless you. Count with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a bright day. Thank you very much, Bishop, and thank you, Your Excellency. I don't know whether the Bishop, Bishop Obani is online now. Uh, I'm not and sure. Bishop President. I'm not sure because he has not answered my phone. Okay. I think then we continue with the program. So reactions, then the bishop can come later. Yeah. So this is now the opportunity for the participants to give their reactions, comments, or any suggestions, any feedback that they would like to give it to us. This is now your opportunity. Any participant has the opportunity to do that and we'll have a maximum of 10 minutes for that exercise. Any reaction, suggestions, feedback is welcomed. Uh, I, I, yes. I, I, Rebecca, I can... Rebecca Hallam of CRS, I think I see your hand up, Rebecca. Yes, good afternoon. Um, and thank you, it's really an honor to participate in this uh, launch event. Um, I suppose my, my remarks is really just to, to recognize the uh, achievements um, that Caritas has made over the years. Um, and the, I wanted to, um, I was interested in all of the strategic plan pillars that you had put up. Um, and particularly interested in the ICT, the ICT um, and the attention that you're gonna be giving ICT, um, not only in the way that we communicate, but also in the way that we do development and, we, and how we can do development better and more impactful. Um, so I very much encourage um, that, that approach. Also um, a reminder of our commitment also to IHD, integral human development. Um, the notion that all people reach their God-given human potential in just and peaceful societies that respect the dignity of every person and the integrity of creation. So um, to encourage you um, and to also assure you of our continued commitment um, along this, this journey. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rebecca, thank you. Maurice, I saw Maurice was trying to say something, Maurice. Yes, uh, first of all, I wish to Maurice, I think we have lost you. Maurice.
Any other reaction? Yes, I'm done. Yes. Okay. I just wish to you the best. I wish Caritas Masavit the best, and thank you, Bishop, also for supporting the process. Asanteni. Thank you very much, Maurice. Okay. Any other reaction? Yes. Jordana, my hand is up. Kadrin, Kadrin. <laughs> Hi, Kadrin, everyone. Uh, and uh, excited to be part of this uh, occasion to launch Caritas Master Bit Strategic Plan uh, for 2021-2025. Uh, I think it's really important to recognize that uh, for CAFWAD, it's been a long journey uh, with the Caritas Master Bit, uh, a strategic partner and a partner of choice, and really in a collaboration to develop previous strategies and another strong one that is being presented today to take us to the next level. Uh, we have journeyed together uh, in working with the really marginalized poor, as it's been said, and uh, we have seen Caritas Masabit grow from strength to strength and uh, really touching lives of people in the communities. So from Carford is uh, congratulations, well done. We have learned from past experiences and we are going to get to the next level. We still committed to work with Caritas Masabit and the Diocese of Masabit. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kadri, for your kind words and for the commitment to continue collaborating with Caritas Masabit. Any other, we have three minutes to end this session. Any other comment, feedback, reaction? Yes, Kodana. Yes, Ali. Great. Uh, the all protocols observed. This is uh, Ali Dida representing Nawiri. And I think it will be unfair if uh, the next door partner will and say one or two. And I would like to take just one minute to really uh, appreciate the efforts of the uh, committees that have uh, really undertaken to put the strategic directions for Caritas Mar Dida, we are losing you, please. Dida, check your connections that we express in a count, ca county with the hope of addressing them jointly, uh, of course, joining hands with the other partners. And uh, already I know we are in that journey together. And uh, really also to appreciate the team for really uh, amidst the COVID challenges, really embrace technology in making sure that this plan uh, is also launched. So from, uh, on behalf of Nawiri, uh, ours is to say we will walk the journey together and uh, congratulations for the right uh, steps that you've uh, taken uh, today. Thank you and over. Thank you very much, Dida. Thank you very much. And may God bless Nawiri and CRS. Uh, any other comment? Just a minute to go before we proceed. Solomon, Solomon of Sign Hope, Sign of Hope, Solomon. Yes, uh, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. I think mine is really to thank uh, Caritas Marsabit uh, for this uh, good work. Uh, just looking at previous, uh, looking at uh, you know uh, the progress that they've been they've been they've been able to make uh, from the previous uh, strategic plan to this one. It's really uh, you know it's really nice to see such a nice progress, and it just gives us confidence, a sign of hope, really, to continue uh, working with you, to continue engaging you more and more. So congratulations to the team, and uh, looking forward uh, to continue uh, you know partnering with you. Asante Sana. Thank you very much, Solomon, and sign of hope for your good compliment. Hi, Gorana. 
Mustafa, Mustafa. Yeah, um, all protocols observed. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Caritas for launching the strategic plan. And they have been a very strong partner within the CSG and in Marsa Beach County. And we look forward to working with them to build resilience for our communities and contribute to sustainable livelihoods within the county, given that we live in a very dynamic and fragile environment and their contribution towards water and you know, sustainable livelihoods in the county is, is going to contribute to a great uh, a development milestone within the county. So thank you. Uh, they've been very supportive to NDMA and the CSG uh, for in, in the areas of uh, long range and short range assessments and even other emerging hazards within the county that have been very supportive and we look forward to collaborating. So thank you very much and God bless you, all of you. Thank, thank you. you very much, Mustafa. Mustafa is the head of National Drought Management Authority, Marsabit County. Thank you very much, Mustafa. We are coming to the end of that session. Unless I'm looking out someone who has a burning issue so that we continue with the program. Thank you very much partners for your patience. We are approaching the end of the program and please we ask for your patience for the next few minutes so that we finish the meeting together. I would like now, I would now like to invite the Bishop Peter Kihara, the Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Marsabit and Caritas Marsabit Board Chair, who is also the Vicar General, Father Ibrahim Racho, to cut the ribbon as a sign of official launch of the, of the document and also hand over the documents to Caritas Marsabit Director for implementation. Bishop and, and Father Rachel. If you are able to see them when they are going to cut the ribbon, please be able to see them cutting the ribbon. Yeah, you can see the bishop has cut the ribbon. The bishop has cut the ribbon. Thank you very much, your lordship. The bishop has just cut the ribbon. Now the bishop, together with the board chair, is handing over the strategic document to Caritas Marsabit Director. is now handing over the bishop and the board chair. That is the document. Please let us clap from wherever we are. We clap. Let's all clap. Thank you very much, your lordship. Thank you very much, the very reverend Vicar General. And thank you very much, the director. The documents have been officially launched and handed over to the director for implementation. Thank you very much.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's clap for them again. Let's clap for them. Thank you very much. There is a bit of celebration going on there. I think you're all hearing the sound. This is a big celebration. The Caritas director has received the documents. The documents are now, the official document, the plan Caritas Marsabit is going to do, to use for the next five years, 2021 to 2025. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, right? Reverend Bishop Peter Kiara, thank you very much. The very Reverend Bishop, the very Reverend Father Racho, and thank you very much, Mr. Isako Jirma, Caritas Marsabit Director. Uh, now, I would like to invite Kadri Nogola, who is the country representative of CAFOD East Africa, to give a vote of thanks. Catherine, please, you have five minutes. Um, thank you very much, Godana. That was a colorful ceremony. And I know each one of us is wishing that we were in mass of it physically. Uh, to celebrate uh, the way it has been shown there. Um, Bishop, uh, Right Reverend Peter Kihara, uh, Bishop, uh, Right Reverend Joseph Obani, uh, Bishop Chair Caritas Kenya, uh, His Excellency Governor of Masabit, uh, Mr. Muhammad Ali, uh, Caritas Masabit, partners, uh, all invited guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, receive my greetings. My name is Catherine Ogola, uh, CAFOD's country representative for Kenya and Uganda based in Nairobi. My simple job is on behalf of Caritas Masabit uh, to give a vote of thanks. And first, I give a vote of thanks to our Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Masabit, Right Reverend Peter Kihara, for good leadership, for strong leadership that has brought us this far of the diocese and directly to Caritas Masabit. You have supported, you have given the facilitation, and you have remained committed to the entire process. And this has given us an, a new strategic plan for Caritas Masabit. Thank you very much, uh, Bishop, for that leadership. I want to thank uh, KCCB, uh, through Bishop Obani uh, for the leadership given at the higher level. We recognize and accept your leadership that makes uh, our Catholic Church in Kenya be what it is and the support and commitment that has been there for Caritas Masterpiece. I thank Caritas Marsabit uh, board and the board members uh, through Father Racho, who is the board chair. We are full of gratitude for your governance of Caritas Marsabit. Your engagement with the strategic planning process and this launch and moving forward. Thank you very much. We rely on you for that governance. I want to thank the Caritas Masabit family, an amazing team under the strong leadership of the Caritas director, 
uh, Isako Jirma. Many thanks for your passion, your commitment, and dedication to the work that you are doing. And this far, you now have a new strategic plan. Well done and congratulations. I want to thank all our Caritas Masterbeat uh, fraternity, our Caritas partners, and any other funding agency that is associated with Caritas Masterbeat. Um, we thank you all for your respected partnership and representation here today. Um, we are very grateful for the support you have continued to provide. And with the new strategic plan, which has been presented to us, well articulated, our partners, we're looking up to you to ensure the successful implementation, execution of this strategy. Thank you so much for your generosity. I want to thank the national and the county government through His Excellency, the governor, Mr. Muhammad. The collaboration, as you have articulated, cannot be underscored. That relationship will continue to ensure that the needs of people of Masabit, diocese, and county are met. Thank you for your time from your very busy schedule uh, to be with us today and give very kind remarks of our partnership with Caritas uh, Masabit and with the diocese of Masabit through uh, our Lord Bishop, Peter Kihara. Uh, many thanks um, to the communities where we work. And I cannot forget to thank the valuable individuals, families, and communities that we work with. Thank you for your participation and making our work to be what it is, making the change, transformative change in the community. We really value you. And with this launch of this strategic plan, your participation is greatly needed. Thank you very much. Behind the scenes of what we are celebrating now, there are so many other things that have been happening and there are so many other people who have been there. We cannot mention you individually, but for the organizing teams, the logistics, ETC, we are very thankful and receive our heartfelt thanks uh, in organizing and ensuring that the launch of the strategic plan is successful. And finally, to all of us, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your contribution, for your time, for your participation and making this event a success. I thank God and I pray to God that he's going to give us providence and he will give us guidance in ensuring that we actualize this new strategic plan for Cartas Masabit from 2021 to 2025. Congratulations. Thank you and God bless you all. Over to you, Godana. Thank you very you, much, Kadri. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Catherine. Thank you. A lot of thanks, and we really appreciate your contribution to ensure that the projects of Caritas Masabit are well implemented.
Madonna is muted. Madonna. Um, I think we have a challenge with the Godana's uh, connectivity there. Uh, thank you, Godana. Um, just to wind it up, I would uh, uh, ask Father Racho, uh, we are now at the tail end of the program, to lead us in the closing prayer as uh, we wait for Godana to come in. Father Racho. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sako, uh, and also for the, saving the situation for the connectivity of Godana. We want to thank all of you for your time, your presence, and uh, we conclude. And at the end of the prayer, I will request the bishop to give us his apostolic blessing. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. We thank you in a special way for during the planning and preparation of Caritas Marsabit Strategic Plan 2021-2025, and especially for being with us throughout this event as we launch it. We thank you for all those who have been generous with their time, with their ideas, and with the strategic direction that they have given to us. Keep them safe and grant them your blessing and grace. And therefore we ask that this imp the implementation of this strategic plan may be smooth and in a special way be helpful to those for whom it has been made. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> blessing to you. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop. Thank you very much, Father Racho, for the closing prayer. Thank you all for your participation. We really appreciate and value your time, the time that you have allocated, you stop everything, and you are able to, despite your busy, very busy schedule, all of you are able to create time. We really appreciate and honor your presence to, during this launch. We will send a copy of the plan to all your emails as we sent you the invitation, and we'll also be able to post on Caritas Marsabit website for you to be able to interact with the document. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of the day and have a nice weekend. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.
Strategic plans 